A Utah man seriously injured in a hiking accident is learning how to walk and run again. He says it's helping him shift his view on life. ABC4 Sarah Murphy shares how it's teaching him to take huge strides forward. Sarah. Eight months ago, he was in a coma. Seven months ago, he was relearning how to walk. And over the weekend, he ran. 26.2 miles in the Salt Lake City Marathon. Now he's continuing to take step forward, recognizing friends kindness and inspiring others along the way in a story that's good for Utah. I want to see how far like physically I can go without dying. It's a goal 25 year old Ben Eater took literally. I don't really remember much about that day. Um, it's all kind of a blur. We are at the top of Tiwanot. Ben is just coming around the corner. In August 2022, Ben was hiking in the Tetons with a friend. They were climbing in between the Teton Glacier and Mount Owen. Uh, this is two and not here. We're doing with the Grand Traverse and uh, right now it is 624. We started at 230. So we did the first peak in about four hours. So it's going well so far. Moments after this video, Ben slipped. He fell 300 feet. Their search and rescue team came out, flew a helicopter in, picked me up, rescued me. Ben broke his back, both wrists, and had traumatic brain injury. He was in a coma for 17 days. Coming out of a coma isn't what it's like in the movies. It's not like you wake up and all of a sudden you know where you are. It's a much more gradual process. Even brushing my teeth was hard because both my hands were in like casts. Dislodge. He had to relearn how to read. Squeeze my finger. Lost. Squeeze my finger. Come on. How to use his hands. <laughs> wow, you okay. did it, Ben. Good job. Even how to stand and walk. Surrender the weight of your arm. But now. If someone would have told me, like, you're going to run a marathon in eight months, I would have thought you were crazy. From August 2022 to April 23, eight months later, Ben, Eater. ben ran. 26.2 miles in the Salt Lake City Marathon. I just think, man, like, if that doesn't kill me, if a 300 foot fall doesn't kill me, a marathon won't kill me. So why not go after it? Life may be hard, but it's not that hard. There's no good reason why I survived a 300 foot fall. The one that I've come up with is, I'm, I'm here to make an impact, a positive impact on other people's lives, and I want to do that. So I guess that's what kept me moving forward. Ben's goal was to run the marathon in under four hours. His final time was four hours, three minutes. So he says he'll just have to do it again next year. He says he wants to run an Ironman one day and he wants to continue to use his story to inspire others. Jillian, back to you.